two sets of values a and b you have to calculate correlation coefficient so let us say a is keep them simple 10 15 20 20 35 25 30 35 45 45 calculate correlation coefficient between a and b what we want to study here is how do you solve for this on the exam okay so take out your financial calculators then again second and seven let's get inside the data function then say second and clear work so all this while the values that we've used is only x but now we will start using x and y both so a we will assume x b we will assume y x1 this is 10 enter y1 25 enter then downwards x2 15 y2 is 30 next one x3 20 enter y3 35 enter then 20 enter 45 enter 35 enter 45 enter once you've inserted all the values then say second and 8 which will bring you inside the stat function or if you have li in here okay downward arrow n is 5 number of values that we have is 5 downward arrow again x bar is 20 the mean of x mean of this value is 20 sx sample standard deviation of these values we haven't calculated but sample standard deviation is 9.35 sigma x the population standard deviation is 8.36 which we anyways have here 8.366 clear downward arrow again y bar 36 sy which is sample standard deviation of y values we don't we did not calculate that sigma y is 8 we have 8 here which is the standard deviation then a we would study this number after some time when we get on to regressions b again when we get on to regressions r 0.82 okay so what is this r correlation coefficient so which means your calculator is equipped sufficiently equipped to calculate correlation coefficient directly for you so on the exam you do not have to do any of this calculation but you just need to know that what is the logic behind this correlation how it is to be used are we clear so what is the meaning of this point 82 it does not mean that when x a will increase by 10 b will increase by 8.2 no what it means is that when when a will increase there's 82 percent chance that b will increase that's it but we do not have the quantum of that relationship we just have the strength of the relationship are we clear here how do you calculate covariance in your calculator okay so now understand this carefully downward arrow keep on coming on downward arrows press downward arrows till the time you do not come on R got it now how do you calculate covariance from this so now understand this carefully correlation is equal to covariance divided by two standard deviations which means covariance is equal to correlation into two standard deviations so you know just flipping the formula so we have correlation sto1 first memory slot then let's go and find out those two standard deviations sigma y sto2 now make sure here you take population do not take sample backwards sigma x sto3 so we've saved all the three in memory slots rcl1 into rcl2 into rcl3 equal to it will give you covariance of 55 so which means by using correlation and two population standard deviations you can calculate covariance on the exams are we clear multiplied multiplied see it's like this 
the formula for correlation was covariance divided by standard deviation a into standard deviation b this we've already studied so if i have correlation how do i calculate covariance covariance is equal to correlation into standard deviation a into standard deviation b just multiply all the three numbers is it clear